And then I say, okay, let's go. Yes. And then he would walk off. Or if I would drive him up to a wall like that, right. and he would stop, and I'd say, that's okay, you can stop. I'm asking you to go. And I would just give a little click and a little tug on one rein. And eventually, he would come around and go. Mm -hmm. But by not rushing him right. or I pushing rather, him. Right, I would rather stop and think. Yeah, anytime he offers to stop and ask me, are, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to reward that. Yeah. Because I want him checking in with me. Much better that than have one that just grabs a bit and says, I know we turn left here. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> or says, so look at this. <laughs> 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 okay, he turned left this time. And I asked him for that. Yeah. And he didn't question me, which was nice. He says, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's important that you teach them to take the direction and side passes and to are wait for notorious it. that way. When you teach a horse to side pass, you have to always ask for each step. And there is a point where they'll start to get confident and they'll kind of show you what they know. <laughs> and you might ask for one step and they'll give you six. And it's not that you want to punish that. Yeah, you but take it. But note that he's not listening exactly to what you asked him to do. Asked yeah, him he's assuming. So he's sometimes you have to go back to one step and then really make a deliberate stop. You might have to put the other leg on him ah. to get his attention and say, okay, you know, brakes, stop. Otherwise, they do make a trick out of it. I had a gelding who had a back really well, and you'd ask him to go into reverse and he'd shoot back 60 feet. Yes. Just kind of inconvenient if you just wanted to go back one or two. Well, a little dangerous if there's a street behind you. Yeah, <laughs> and that that's a da backing boy. Yeah, backing again. It, it needs to be <coughs> fluid, but it needs to be asked for every step. Every step, yeah. not just pick up and so, have and them and this back. These are one of the hardest obstacles because you have so many control issues. Yeah. In a small space, and if at any point that horse gives you an extra step of back or an extra side step, they may very well have caused you to let go of the gate, or yep. they've closed it on your leg. <laughs> and it, it's kind of a dangerous obstacle, which is why it's not something that people should do with horses that are kind of green. You, you need to teach them to side back and back, and then deal with obstacles. A good one is um, to side pass up to the gate, and I said, just lean over and rattle it. Yeah. Without losing your balance and having the horse, you know, shy side back <coughs> and dump you on the gate. Um, <laughs> Having a lead rope or a bag on the gate, uh -huh. it up, so they get used to the idea that something may come at them. Oh and yeah. It's okay. Because boy, the first time you open a gate and pull it towards your horse, if he's afraid of that gate, backwards. You're going to side pass really fast. Oh, I know that was lovely. Oh, I picked up the whip. Oh. <laughs> that was really really nice. Good boy. This was Good boy. I like that. Good boy. We did a lot of that. That's really important. Standing needs to be happy. He's looking. Those ears are bad. Mm -hmm. He's checking. He's like, well, now what? And it's good to just hang stop. out. Yeah. Especially when you have talkative moms, you know, they like to sit here <laughs> and chat. And you might find us having that conversation on your back one of these times, and you just get to stand there and listen to it. Oh, yeah. Look at those ears. You're so good. Yeah. So Aw, and a little blinky. Yeah. Just learning to Spanish. I was so proud of Dan when you were working with him. And I went out to play with you over at the obstacle course, and I put Dan on the on the patience pole. Uh -huh. He's never been there. Oh. Wouldn't have guessed, would you? No. Yeah. He just went to sleep. I know. He didn't move. He didn't I, I looked. He just stood there. It's like, well, okay, fine. And I, I wanted to see how he'd be because when he's at the trailer, sometimes he's obnoxious and he'll get bored and paw and you know, dig bang around and, and yeah. Stuff. And I just didn't feel like feeding him at the time, so you know, I figured he could just stand there, and he did. He's so nice cute. Surprise. He looks like a big stuffed toy <laughs> yeah. with his winter coat and uh, his hair. It just is absolutely he adorable. He got best groomed horse on Sunday. I heard. Yeah, that was a neat surprise. I had a bath he had Tuesday paid off. Because <coughs> I knew we weren't going to have one close to the day of the ride. Yeah. It was too cold. But that Tuesday was warm. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to wash. And he, he got a good bath. She got a bath too. I worked her You're Tuesday. being so good. We should stop here, huh? Yeah. yeah. Let's just stop this, and this take is, everything. This is awesome. Well, no, I want to go torture him with something else real quick, but I'm really okay. happy with the ground driving. Oh, I, I 